Okay, so uh, basically I create the YouTube app. I will show a little bit the architecture, but, but the, the principal idea to create this app is to show the potential of apps created using Power Apps. Uh, you can see uh, the kids app and the business applications, and you can see the Google Apps. So, to, so, uh, so I create the YouTube app using the simple architecture. Uh, basically, the influencer, the YouTuber, posts a new video inside the YouTube. I search using the query uh, Power Platform. So I recommend you to select the right uh, words because I, I answer uh, Power and pa Platform. And this word is uh, a lot of videos in my uh, Comula Sarsiente, but I start all videos inside the Comula Sarsiente, the database. I create two entities. Basically, uh, the first entity is the videos to store the YouTube videos. Uh, the second entity I use to select, to use, to allow uh, the user to subscribe in the channel. So the principal idea to create the YouTube channel, the, the YouTube app, you can see all videos and you can subscribe, you can like this video, you can see the description, you can know, and you can see the whole video. So, I want to choose the database and Power Automate to uh, get the videos from YouTube. And I create the Power Apps. Uh, it, I will show after this slide, you can download the app and change the, the features and see the whole app. How can you do that? But I create some, uh, some, uh, some screens the principal screen, the home screen, you can see the trend, trending topics. I create the, the GIF here. And you can see the whole videos. You can search inside the, the app. You can see the trending topics. You can see the details video. Uh, you can subscribe and su see the, 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 the description. And you can open the library, see your history, and open your account and change your account. Basically, I will show now my app. And you can see this app. It's, uh, it's very large because it's getting the data from YouTube. So it's very, it's very large, uh, the storage. But you can see the video here. You can search, like I can search the Heza app has a videos and automatically the YouTube will search in the database and show the has a videos inside my app and I, I can see the has a videos and the search is using the title video or the description and I can see one video here the introduction to a builder it's a real video. You can open, you can click and see the whole video and see uh, the channel. I already subscribed in this channel, but I can see the whole video. I can open the description here. I can unsubscribe. And I can open another video and see the details here and can play this video here or see the description. And if I subscribe in this channel, I can see in the subscription tab. I can see all videos using this channel that is Metro Nashville. Uh, I can see here too. And open the details and see the video again. And if I click on the on my photo, I can see all links to edit my profile to get the YouTube premium and another thing using the same application. And the library, basically here, it's a go horse, <laughs> go horse screen because you cannot get the playlist inside the YouTube, my mobile phone and insert the image here just to show a playlist. 
So how can I do this app? I will show uh, the entity. Basically, I have the entity here. You can see YouTube and YouTube videos and YouTube subscribes. Inside the YouTube video, I get some informations that uh, Power Automate show me, uh, like channel ID, channel title, what publish it at, title, and uh, other fields. And all videos are here. I delete some videos today just to, to show better the performance inside the Power Apps. But I can see all videos imported here. And I get the workflow. And I have the workflow that get the the videos using the query. The query is power and platform. Uh, you can use one word to get many many videos. And I parse JSON, create an action, parse JSON to to get the published channel ID, title, description, and other fields here. And after I create a new week item, new record inside the common service. And I using the YouTube video, the title, the channel ID, and all information. So uh, my app closed. So I hope that you can download this app i will post this link after this uh, this presentation and you can download you can uh, open this this care code in hands on i show uh, on the hands on how can you do that and thanks so much that's really sweet i love how you took the ui and you made it look so youtubey too. Like the menus at the bottoms, the top left, all of it. It just really felt like you were in that YouTube environment too. Yes. Microsoft is so beautiful that can do uh, Google Apps. So, so you have an interesting pattern there. You're using the flow, right? To go do that search and then put the data in CDS and then your app talks to CDS. What made you choose to do that versus just having the app talk to YouTube directly? Was it because of some of that missing metadata you talked about? Sorry, can I repeat, please? What, what made you choose to use the pattern yes. to get the data into yes. CDS from YouTube instead of going directly to the Power um, directly to YouTube from the Power App? Yes, uh, when the workflow uh, is a huge, I insert the data from uh, into the, the common source and inside my app because I closed my app unfortunately, but uh, inside my app, I just read and connect to gallery inside the common source and show the app. And when the user click on the subscribe, it's a button. And when the user click on the subscribe button, Automatically, I set a new item. Uh, I create a new item inside the common uh, the the YouTube subscribes uh, entity, and just create channel ID and the current user and save this information. And the user open the the video uh, the video page screen. Uh, automatically, I get the entity and read if the user uh, are subscribe in this channel with the current user. It's really slick. I see, I see some other people nodding their heads too about how it looks all like YouTube and, and everything there as well. So how long did it take you to build that app? Uh, I built this app in uh, the two days, three days. Two days. Oh, because, oh. because I, the the final what the <laughs> the final demonstration was finishing uh, uh, 26 20 uh, 20 20 uh, or something like that in june june and i i start the 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 development on sunday and sunday and monday and tuesday i finished the zap and publish 
uh, before closing this the demo server against. Wow. So not only quick, but like under pressure too. Well done. Yes, 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 yes.